In this video, I'll introduce you to another awesome plugin from Retouch For Me. If you do lots of product shoots and you have problems with post-processing, especially taking dirt and dust off products, then this plugin is for you. This plugin makes it very easy to take off dirt and dust from products. My name is Kwek Wai, and this is Ghana New Photography. Let's take a look at this picture. When we zoom in to 100%, we see all these um, dust and scratches on the product. So if we go around and then see all these um, things, you can take these off using the clone stamp or other tools, but it will be very, very tedious. This is where this wonderful plugin comes in. So we'll take a look at how in just a few seconds, we'll be able to get rid of all these um, dust and scratches using this wonderful plugin from Retouch For Me. The good thing is this plugin works as a standalone or in Photoshop. Now we are in Capture One. And in this tutorial, I'm going to use it as a standalone plugin. So right here, we right click on the image, then we go to edit with, and then over here, you can choose other, and then go through your applications, and then select retouch for me, dust, and open. So here, it will ask you for all these things. We just go to edit variant, and we should have a pop-up with a plugin opened for us to tweak it and then see the result we get. So right here, we have our plugin. So first of all, once you open it, it will try, you know, applying the um, default settings to your image to get rid of the dust and stuff for you. If this is not up to your expectation, we have different um, settings that we can customize to get exactly what we want. All right, so the AI applied the default settings to our image. Let's um, zoom in and see what we have so here at 200 percent let's see so this is the original and this is now before and now you see how you see how um clean the product has become all of a sudden this is the work of this plugin from retouch for me now let's scroll down and then check this is before and now before and now with the first run, the AI applies the default setting. That default setting has it at fine dirt, which means it should pick all the little, little dirt that it finds on the product. Then we have the medium dirt and then coarse dirt. Of course, you can tweak this to your specification. If your product has maybe bigger dirt or you want it to eliminate certain uh, basic dirt, then you can choose any of these to suit whatever need you have so based on what it gives you if you realize it's um, too much it's taking away more from your image you can come to the blend and then reduce it okay, so as you reduce it it retains some of the particles some may not be dirt as such maybe it's part of the product so you can tweak it here to add them or remove them also you can use the eraser tool to get rid of places just in case it picks um, a place that you believe should not be part should not be seen as dirt you can just um, erase it off and you would omit it from the selection so just like that we have all these particles taken away from the image imagine we were doing this by hand we would have to click several times to be able to get this as clean as this so what are you waiting for? Just go to the Retouch For Me website and get this plugin. For There are other plugins that I have reviewed already from Retouch For Me, which make your retouching very, very easy. There is a 30% New Year's discount going on. So use the link in my description to get yours and get that 30% discount. I hope this has been informative for you. And I'd like to thank you for watching.